Hey you guys, welcome to the Kern River Fly Fishing Report podcast. This is episode number 18 and uh, glad to have you guys with us. Um, I'm going to start from the very top here and just kind of go down a whole list of fishing spots for the Kern River Valley and the air temperatures, water temperatures, techniques, all that kind of stuff. So wait till the very end and uh, we'll get you guys all the latest conditions that we have in the Kern River Valley for sure. So the Kernville air temps right now are roughly about 65 degrees and we're getting down to about 47 degrees. So we're still, even though we have some cloud cover and some drizzle, um, we're, we're staying relatively warm in the uh, Kernville area. Um, we have rain projected through the rest of the week um, through Friday and then it's supposed to clear up on Saturday and we're supposed to have a, a nicer weekend. Um, the cubic feet per second in the upper Kern, which we're, we're mostly fishing right now, is between 480 and 500. We did increase from last week when we were in the 350 CFS range um, coming into town. You know, we have different flows in different areas. Flows above the KR3, which are about uh, three miles above Kernville, the flows above that from there up to the Fairview Dam are a lot lower. They're flowing about 50 CFS. So the water temperature is going to be a little bit warmer, um, easier to wade, that sort of thing. So definitely check that out. They're taking water out at the Fairview Dam, pumping it through the mountain, and it's coming back in at KR3. And they're putting it back in um, to basically uh, flow down from there down to Lake Isabella. Um, so if you want to go out and go fishing um, and experience some lower flows, go between that section, between the uh, Kern KR3 and the Fairview Dam. Um, water temperatures in the basically the whole upper Kern River are between 41 and 45 degrees and um, it's uh it's getting cold out there but uh, the fishing is actually still doing pretty good um, we're seeing some blue wing olive hatches around one o'clock and um, that's going to be a pretty fun little hatch it's pretty sporadic but we are seeing fish still coming up and, and eating off the surface and even in this uh low water temperature flies that are working really good are for the hatches are parachute atoms and dry mergers fish below so basically fish in a merger pattern coming up to the surface that sort of thing um, pretty small flies in the 20 to 22 range um, probably the number one fly for a nymph would be the psycho may in size 18 and all of psycho may which we have in the shop a tungsten psycho may about a size 18 um, those have been producing really, really well, uh, along with uh, olive midges, um, olive zebra midges in about the size 18 to 20 range. Um, those have been probably the number one producing flies on the upper current at this time. And uh, we've got plenty of those in the shop. If you guys need them, stop by the shop and we'll, we'll send you in the right direction and uh, get you some flies to catch some fish out there. Um, the water is a little off color today um, from the little light rain that we've had. So um, it's just a little off color, but you can uh, still see uh, the bottom and that sort of thing. And the fish are still eating. So some of the flies that uh, we might use as well are some more attractor flies like uh, San Juan worm style flies, you know, pink and red San Juan worms just because the water's come up a little bit. Um, flashier stuff sometimes works in that muddier water so they can see it um, that sort of stuff so uh, don't forget about those attractor flies as well um, fishing above the Johnsondale bridge um, has been okay um, the water temperatures are going to be about 40 degrees up there uh, 42 degrees but if you hike in above the dry meadow creek area you're going to see uh, some wild fish up there uh, and you'll be able to catch them it's pretty fun I'm getting lots of reports from friends and clients that have been hiking in there and uh, they've been having a good time. It, it's cold in the morning when you hike, when you're hiking up there in the morning, but it warms up during the day and it's, uh, and it's real nice. So when the sun's directly on the water, um, you're going to get the fish a little bit more active um, and you'll have that window, a, a really good window when they're eating between one and two, that, that time frame in there. Um, so basically the upper Kern um, is still fishing okay even though we had these rains um, I believe it'll stay uh, fishing good um, through the
the rest of December and um, even into January if we don't get some super high flows or a freak storm or something like that. So just listen in to this uh, podcast or go to our fishing report um, page at kernriverflyshop.com to, to make sure you have all the latest conditions and all that good stuff. I'm going to keep talking here about um, going up to Johnsondale and fishing uh, that Lloyd, Mo- <laughs> Lloyd, Road, Lloyd Meadow Road area. Um, which is a uh, basically a 21 mile road that goes down to the forks of the Kern. You know, all those creeks are still flowing with water. Um, you can still catch wild fish in there. Um, it's getting cold up there. Um, air temperatures up in that area are going to be about uh, 55 degrees and getting down into the uh, 32 degree range. It's get, getting cold up there, but you can still uh, enjoy some fishing up along that road and down to the forks. Check with the local uh, Forest Service Ranger Station, the Kernville Ranger Station, to make sure that that road is open. The gates are open before you go up there. Um, They could be closing those at any time, so just something to check out. Call the Ranger Station and find out if that road's open. That's a good little tip right there. Um, If I was to continue up the road past Johnsondale and go up to Ponderosa um, and fish the creeks up on the upper stretches of those creeks... um, The air temperature is going to be a lot cooler. You're looking at 42 degrees and 32 degrees, uh, 42 of high, 32 of low. um, And it's going to be a lot cooler up there and probably did get a little dust in the snow up there, um, up around the uh, Trail of 100 Giants. Uh, So definitely check that out as well. You might have to um, check with the ranger station on there if if the roads are still open up there. So let's go back down the hill. Uh, back to the Johnsondale Bridge and go up the other way, go up to Black Rock Station. And, uh, you know, as you cruise up that road, you got to check and see as well, just to see if that road is open up over the pass. Um, when we get little rains like this, you know, it definitely snows up there. And uh, sometimes they'll close that road going up and over. So um, air temperatures up there, again, very similar to the Ponderosa area, you know, 42 to 32 degrees um, in that zone. Um, so just be careful up there. Uh, don't want to get stuck up there. That's for sure. Um, continuing on down the road to Kennedy Meadows, um, the South Fork of the Kern, um, it's still flowing about uh, 70 CFS and, uh, you can definitely still fish that over there. Um, and some of the creeks along the way as well. So let's go back down the hill down to Lake Isabella. And, um, I have been getting some, uh, different reports of, of uh, Lake Isabella. The crappie are actually around 25 feet of water and, and people are picking up stringers of crappie, um, fishing uh, with jigs and stuff like that. So if you're gonna be fly fishing out there, you know, definitely uh, use some flies or even a sinking line or sinking leader to get your flies down when you're stripping. Uh, jig style or even clouser style uh, patterns, you know, work real good. A great pattern for crappie is uh, a clouser, an olive and white clouser. It works fantastic in Lake Isabella, so, and about a size six, just to uh, let you guys know about that. Um, Some of my friends have been fishing bass um, off the points, and uh, they are doing really well. Um, Bass are in the 15 feet of water, and they're just fishing from the shore, casting out, letting their uh, flies drop down, and just stripping up the points, and uh, their fish are coming up and and hitting those uh, flies as they're coming back up to the surface. So something to think about there as well. Um, Going down the hill even more, going down to the lower Kern. And if you've never fished the lower Kern, it's a pretty amazing fishery. I'm gonna tell you guys where to go if you guys wanna fish it right now. Um, We haven't been able to fish it this whole year because the flows have been so big. Um, Flows coming out of the uh, Lake Isabella Dam right now are still high in this section i go from lake isabella down to democrat the flows are around 650 cfs and that's considered pretty high still for uh, fishing on the lower kern in my opinion Um, but if you go outside the canyon from basically outside the canyon all the way down to oil dell which is a super long stretch um, the flows are at 160 and 160 is pretty prime for floating. Um, if you want to float down there, um, fishing for the small mouth, the large mouth down there, um, super fun. Um, 
unfortunately, you know, water temperatures play a role for the bass down there. And I've found over the years that the water te temperature needs to be around 50 degrees or higher to catch bass down there. Um, I have caught bass in uh, lower temperatures than that, but it's a lot uh, harder to catch them and you have to fish a lot slower. Um, so the water temperature right now down there is 48 degrees. So just something to keep in mind. But if you're Jones and to go fish the lower current and float it, um, you can actually float it uh, in that lower section. Just be careful. Um, you can wait it now down there as well. Um, just be careful. Um, techniques for fishing for bass down there. Um, you want to use crayfish style patterns or little bait fish style patterns. Um, one of the patterns that I love to fish down there is a um, game changer, a white game changer or a brown game changer, a, a smaller one. And um, those are super fun with a sinking leader. Um, that's a technique that works really well down there, just casting against the bank and, uh, and stripping that back. Um, super fun. Um, and also crayfish style patterns. Even brown woolly buggers work really good down there. But when you're fishing in that cold of water, you have to fish really slow. So just keep that in mind. That's hard for us fly fishers to do sometimes is fish slow. <laughs> we want to strip that, that fly in pretty fast, but if you just slow everything down in that colder water, um, you could pick up a fish or two. Um, some really cool news that's come out is uh, the fly shop, Kern River Fly Shops come out with their own rod called the Prodigy. And the Prodigy is a great rod. It's a, a five weight rod, it's nine feet four pieces it comes with a uh, Kern River Fly Shop reel and line and it comes with a case and uh, if you want to check it out go to kernriverflyshop.com and you can check out the new Prodigy fly rod and if you come into the shop you can cast it and see if you like it it's pretty awesome um, no school dates as of yet for the um, guy jeans school fly fishing we don't have any dates uh, scheduled yet for January but we will have some coming up so definitely stay tuned for that don't forget to uh, uh, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, we're getting some great feedback on our YouTube channel and the, the channel is actually growing really big. And so we'd like to have you guys be a part of that as well. We're putting up a couple videos a week on techniques and also um, just information, general information on the river and that sort of thing. Um, check out our Facebook page and also uh, at Kern River Fly Shop on our Instagram page. Um, and check all that stuff out. So there you guys have it. Quick little report for you for the Southern Sierra. This is Guy Jeans, episode number 18 for the Kern River Fly Fishing Report podcast. Take care. This episode is brought to you by Kern River Fly Shop, located in the beautiful river town of Kernville, California. The Kern River Fly Shop is a fully stocked fly shop for all your fly fishing needs, and everything is online too at kernriverflyshop.com. The Kern River Fly Shop also offers guided trips throughout the Southern Sierra and Sequoia National Forest both for cold water and warm water species. Kern River Fly Shop also offers guided trips on the Owens River and Crowley Lake in the Eastern Sierra. Don't forget about their guided fly fishing in the surf from Morro Bay to Ventura, California. Also, check out the Guy Jean School of Fly Fishing. They offer fly fishing clinics for beginners to advanced students. They also offer warm water cold water and salt water clinics as well. Go to kernriverflyshop.com to check everything out and get some great discount offers. kernriverflyshop.com